All right, we're live. Welcome. Welcome to Crypto in 2022. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me on my new show. Um, I've got a new Patreon channel uh, at Bitcoin Cowboy, patreon.com slash Bitcoin Cowboy. Uh, I have just started, so I'm into my first week. Everything's going to be free on there, but come and visit me. Um, Come sign up for a month and see what you think of uh, Bitcoin Cowboy Show. Uh, got a little intro up there, so you can watch that intro and kind of see the things that I'll be talking about. But today we have a panel. Um, today we've got Paul, the crypto Sherpa, and we've got Logan uh, from Open Minded Bitcoin. And we are um, just talking a little bit about security, talking about kicking off the new year and um, kind of getting off your butt on crypto and um, getting things done, meeting your objectives this year and, and what you really want to do with crypto. Uh, we are all three members of Bitcoin Consultants World, Bitcoin Consultants Worldwide. We each have our own specialties and um, features. But um, we're a bunch of Bitcoin Pen founders members with uh, years and years, um, 50, 60 years, of all the consultants that we have on BitcoinConsultants.world. Um, so there'll be somebody there that can answer any crypto question that you have. And, um, and you'll find a link to BitcoinConsultants.world down below. So take a look down there. Um, if you're watching this and you're and you're not watching it live, then go ahead and pause it right now. Go to that link and get familiar with the, the guys that are there because um, I'm going to tell you a story. Um, I was I did a show from, from Crypto World in St. Louis, and uh, he was telling me about, you know, working. One thing they offer there is some consulting services, and they their services, they want to... Um, build a trusted relationship. So that's very important. There's so many scams going around right now. So if you decide you're going to get up, check your crypto balances, and all of a sudden, you know, you put in $15,000 into Polygon last year, and now it's $750,000, you're probably not going to go want to go on Reddit and trust that to somebody, you know, how to get that crypto. Um, this client actually came by, uh, drove by Crypto World, find out it's 150 bucks for a consulting, for an hour consultant just to get it set up. And he could have worked with somebody face to face there and moved that crypto right into a wallet, his own wallet. And he could have gone home with his $750,000. But instead, he decided to leave, drive by, and he went on Reddit and thought, I think I can do this myself. And he found a helpful Reddit person on there who gave him a whole bunch of steps, change the Matic into ETH, move it to this address, and then I'll send you a wallet with all your stuff in it. Well, $750,000 later, um, it was gone. So if that happens to you, you have to be super, super, super cautious about who you work with. You want to work with a trusted consultant. You want to work with somebody that, um, you know, Bitcoin Ben founder, um, Bitcoin Ben will come, as he says, if anybody, if anybody messes with his, uh, his clients and then, um, he's going to come put a foot up their butt. So, um, we're well known. We're well established. We're people that you can talk to on the phone, people that you can meet video face to face. So um, as you kind of get back into crypto at the beginning of this year and start start trying to meet your objectives, just go ahead to um, find a consultant that you that you find trustworthy. Go to BitcoinConsultants.world and um, and. Uh, you know, if you want to talk to somebody before you actually do a consultant, um, we can arrange that too. So we want you to be extremely co uh, confident in the, the relationship that you have. So um, just a little bit about me. Uh, I'm, I work in security, uh, computer security. I help people set up their computers. I actually do consulting with uh, Calix 
solutions and I help uh, their clients set up computers. A lot of you probably know me from, from there. I probably help you set up your computer. Um, I do, I've been working recently in crypto recovery, um, Bitcoin and blockchain recovery. Um, if you send it to the wrong address, you know, perhaps we can get it back. We'll look at it. I can't get anybody's hopes up, but because really, if you send it to the wrong person, like the gentleman that sent his to some Reddit guy, um, you know, it's, it's more likely gone. You can't get it back, but there are examples and situations where you can, you can recover that. Um, I'm a developer. I'm a programmer. I'm doing some blockchain development right now on, um, the avalanche network and um, kind of moving moving forward in that direction too so that's a little bit about me i want to introduce you to paul paul bucci who is the crypto sherpa and um, let him uh welcome you to the new the new year go ahead paul all right guys happy new year richard bitcoin cowboy thank you for having me i'm glad to be here hope everyone's having a great new year starts at 2022 i know the market's had a dip today, but that's okay. This is the crypto market. So we're here to educate you that this is normal for what happens. The market is volatile right now. And as time goes on, the volatility is going to get a lot less. But we're going to have higher highs, lower lows. Just be patient. I'll buy that freaking dip. <laughs> okay. And yeah, so I've been consulting for at least over a year now. Yes. Uh, part of Bitcoin Consultants Worldwide for six months now. So this is a great way, great team that we got together met each one of these people and they're all amazing uh i specialize really just in like getting people set up with their crypto wallets safety security make sure they don't make a simple mistake by not adding like a security factor on top of their email address because i had a situation where somebody lost fifty thousand dollars so they didn't have that two-factor security on their email account so they hacked their email got into their cracking account purchased five bitcoin at the time it was a mess i was like and they got like a tax off write off, but nobody likes losing money at all. So that was a horror situation that we try to prevent and help people out so they don't make that mistake. Uh, other stuff I specialize in is the Theta project or Divi project. Those are two I'm taking master nodes in and passive income off of that. So people want to know ways to make passive income off of cryptocurrencies. Uh, those are two ways I know how to help you out with that. And just all about education. I make YouTube videos, just like a crypto Sherpa. I got tons of love there, mostly Theta and Divi updates, but also like, what is blockchain? I'm working on that one right now. It takes time making PowerPoints. <laughs> That's what I found out. I got the difference between exchanges and wallets, like who's in full control? Like, are you in control of your, of your coins or some exchange? Because they're the ones who hold the private keys. So that's what I educate on and everything. And yeah, it's just a little about me. Uh, Duran, well, you take over now. <laughs> Open minded Bitcoin. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, glad to be on Richard's show. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm glad to be with you guys. Glad to be on this team. Uh, we have such a great team. Um, the way I got started into crypto uh, was back in 2015. Uh, a buddy of mine said, "Let's get in, let's get into crypto." I'm like, "What's crypto?" Uh, He's like, it's on the internet. It's this and that. I'm like, it sounds like funny money. I don't want nothing to do with it. No. And then I started thinking about it. And then uh, he kept bugging me every day. Look, it's going up. It's going up. Get in it. Get in it. So I was like, you know what? Just to shut him up, I'll I'll do it. All right. So I threw Thanks, some Bob. in there. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get in there. I got in it. I was like, all right, whatever. Threw a couple hundred bucks in it. And, uh, Never, never thought about it. And then all of a sudden, 2017, a crash came. I got out because I didn't know what to do. I had made money, but I was like, now I lost the money. So before I lose any more, let me pull it out. So I jumped out 2017 and then got back in after 2017. And uh, what made me get back in was my sister. She's like, you got to start getting back into this crypto stuff. I know you used to be in it. Um, she got into it back in 2016 and, uh, that's how I got started with crypto basically. And then I had one little mishap and that's what made me want to help people. Um, the second time when I got back into it, you know, we didn't have as many 
apps or programs or exchanges or any any of those ways back then to get into cryptos so it was very hard to understand if you're not computer savvy so i accidentally sent bitcoin to a litecoin address and lost quite a bit of money and it was gone so there was nothing i could do about it and uh, my sister didn't even know what to do about it matter of fact she was like i that's and then i start thinking well man that it is funny money but instead of me getting deterred from it um i wanted to help people and figure out why i lost it and i started believing in it and i started understanding about it then i started looking into the economy and seeing where the economy was going and i'm like this is something we're going to need in the future and we need to know how to use it so that's what made me get into it that's a little bit about my story um before i started actually doing full-time crypto uh, helping people in 2019 yeah 20 the end of 2019 20 beginning of 2020 is when i fully went into crypto full-time i quit my old job i used to work as a construction uh heavy equipment operator slash high voltage electrician and I did that work for seven, seven and a half, eight years. Uh, so it was a big jump, but I'm in it because I love to help people and I want to see people succeed in this industry. So, yeah, that's my story. Same. Yeah, like I just got into a full time crypto literally two weeks ago. This is my second week of going full time. I quit the day job. I'm here educating people and just making smart, wise investments off of my own research. And yeah, so it's been great. Like it's a great thing to do. Like it's scary at first to make that leap to go, okay, do I have enough to pay my bills? <laughs> but like it's exciting. I'm just I'm glad to be here to help people out when they need it. Because a lot of people still don't know about cryptocurrencies. They're like just going, Well, how do you get in it? How do you buy it? It's like you like we've been in it for a year now and like we don't even think about people not knowing what a wallet is. Like, really, there's people out there who don't know that. It's like, yes, we got to educate people. What's a oh, wallet? Oh, yeah. And it's like, do I have to buy a whole Bitcoin? I can't afford one whole Bitcoin. Right. <laughs> I know. So, it's, yeah, it's just like people need to know. <laughs> so that's what we're here for. <laughs> so we are about education. Uh, that's that's what we do and spend a lot of our time doing is educating people. So we've been around crypto a long time. I started in 2013. Um, I bought my first uh, Bitcoin on Mt. Gox, and if somebody <laughs> got that story, um, it was they were in the process of selling the company. So um, one of the auditors just happened to have the keys uh, to their wallet on their laptop, and somebody hacked into their laptop, the auditor's laptop, and took like eighty thousand Bitcoin right off of it. So that Bitcoin is sitting right there on the blockchain nobody's touched it since but um i had a friend in stocks at the time and he was really discouraging me about bitcoin going into stocks and you know when you buy it for a hundred dollars and it automatically jumps up to a thousand it started at 50 but by the time you know it was very difficult to to work with the exchanges back then I had to wire money to a bank in Japan and they switched it over. And then finally I was able to purchase it, but it had gone up a hundred percent in the week and a half. I was trying to just get engaged with the, uh, the exchange. But my friend who was doing stocks at the time said, wow, it's gone up 10 X. Um, you better bring that home. And I thought, mm, well, I'm just gonna, I'm going to hold that. That was before hodling was a thing. I'm just going to hold on to that because I think this Bitcoin's going to go someplace. Well, um, you know, several months later, just sitting on it, um, it actually, it, the whole exchange shut down and it's been in a lawsuit and may come back that I get a little bit back, you know, this many years later. Um, but um, but it, both, it, it scared me out of the market completely. I kind of leaned on my friend who was doing stocks and I thought, well, you're right. Maybe, maybe crypto isn't the thing I thought it was, but, um, finally I started getting back into it, buying a little bit here and a little bit there. And, um, 
as a developer, I could see kind of the power in the blockchain and what ETH was doing with smart contracts and uh, kind of went into it um, kind of more from from that angle. And then um, earlier in the year, we met Bitcoin Ben and um, and started following his YouTube channel. It made a lot of sense. This is, you know, when Michael Saylor started buying a lot of Bitcoin and Elon Musk was buying and selling Bitcoin and making a big fuss about Doge. But um, it was, um, it's an interesting time. And uh, I recommend just, just jumping into crypto, but um, go in with, with, you know, somebody that's got your back. And that'll be one of us, one of us here or one of us from uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Consultants dot world. Um, go over there, say hello, um, introduce yourself. I've got my own channel that I just started on Patreon. Um, my contact information, you can kind of get it through there. My website is bitcoincowboy.io. Um, Paul, where can people find you? They can find me either on YouTube, just type in the Crypto Sherpa, or they can reach me on my website, CryptoSherpaLLC.com. I have a messaging link there, so if you want to send me messages, if they want, if people want to enjoy just some funny cryptocurrency memes that are also educational memes, I have an Instagram, which is, I'll have links on below on my channel, but it's like Crypto Sherpa underscore LLC. Like, I wish I could have had them all the same, but yeah to the punch <laughs> sometimes yeah. they're hard to get like that yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah. and um what do you do on your shows what on your youtube channel and and different shows what do you focus on what do you talk to people about in my morning show i do a theta network update i do a price analysis what's going on with the price is there any news going on out there any new partnerships what's been happening and i do the same in the evening for the divi project like what news is coming like you guys should listen to this uh, podcast right here. They're talking about it. Our CEO, Nick Fapanero, is over here in Dubai. But I, those are two like consistent videos I do consistently daily. And then occasionally I'll do a cryptocurrency news video, which I'm planning on changing a little bit, making them more of a live video. So now you can, people can come in, chit chat while we just browse the news articles and see what's going on in the crypto world. <laughs> yeah. I have... Um... I'm just starting to use this this platform, StreamYard pl platform, and trying to find all the levers and bells and whistles on it. It's pretty complex, but um, I think probably by the end of this year, I'll have it really down good and it'll be smooth. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty easy to use. One I'm trying to learn how to use is OBS Studios because that one has a link where you can stream on the Theta Edgecast, so you can have a truly decentralized video stream on the blockchain through the Theta. Oh, Edgecast. okay, yeah. That one's a little bit more complicated than StreamYard. <laughs> Practice what you preach. There you go. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay, open-minded Bitcoin. What about your show? So my show focuses on how-tos. So I have a lot of how-to videos on how to use exchanges, how to use wallets, um, kind of just hold your hand type of stuff. I do have some news on there. I do have some guests on there. Um, just the news guests and how to so i focus on a variety of things i also have a patreon channel um but behind the scenes you know that's uh, behind the pay paywall you call it uh is where i go more in depth on one-on-one -on -one with clients if they really need that extra hand they can watch a video instead of calling me for an hour that video they can stop pause play you know, it'll work them through the, the problem they're having. So that's kind of what I do for my shows and, and my Patreon. And I have a Twitter account. You can follow me at open minded or it's minded Bitcoin. So at minded Bitcoin, it wouldn't give me the open minded. It's too uh, long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and then I have Facebook. It's open minded Bitcoin and the YouTube channel is open minded Bitcoin. So. The only one I couldn't get was the Twitter. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I also have uh, Instagram, uh, Rumble, and Twitch. So, kind of find me all over the place. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you guys going to be at the Bitcoin Ben Founders event coming up in Texas next week? 
I will be zooming it. Uh, I missed okay. it too late, but the next event's coming up. I'll definitely be live. Now I have the time yeah. to do it. So again, full time now. So I'll be able to go there once I worry about a day job saying, no, you can't get the time off to go. So I'm excited to go to the first one. Next one. Yeah. So, in Florida, okay. what do you say? Uh, it's in Texas. Well, that's the Is that what you asked me? After that. No, the one after that. Is that one going to be in Florida? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Where the next so one is. Bitcoin Ben was like moving over there and he said, Yeah, so that's where our event's gonna be now. I thought he said he that. Is, he is planning to move there. Yeah. Yeah, I think the next one is in Florida, I think. So I'll definitely be at that one live. <laughs> but we we are having one where he's gonna be at in Shasta too. Oh really? I did not Shasta, know California. Oh, I will be there then for sure. There's a, a lot of meetups next year. There's one in Utah. I'm not sure if Bitcoin Ben's going to be there, but um, it's kind of like the one that was there la last year. Um, and they're just uh, conferences. So you'll have little breakout rooms where you can go learn about whatever new projects are coming out. And uh, really, really interesting stuff. I mean, it's uh, VR games. It's uh, how to tokenize your assets, how to... Uh, mine a coin they'll mine coins right in front of right in front of you you know so really interesting and those events are just amazing to be around because it's the environment just like-minded people love cryptocurrencies they love talking about it it's like you don't get that in the real world like you have people just going well what is that or they just want to question it as much as possible but when you're with a group of people it's just amazing and just it feels so good it's like oh my gosh you're into that coin oh you're talking what's this one it's, it's exciting <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really nice to be around like-minded people, and um, you know, most people investing in crypto are, are patriotic as well, patriots and uh, mm -hmm. freedom. <laughs> yeah, into into freedom and liberty in a big way. So it looks like the the April event coming up will be in Fort Worth as well. That's what it says on on the website. So let's we'll mm -hmm. see when the what the next one what the next one says. Um, I don't know if I'm putting you on the spot. Uh, Open-minded Bitcoin, but are you thinking you're going to come next week? Um, I'm I'm battling out with the with the wife, and because we have two other businesses that we run, yeah, and mm -hmm. that we got to make sure they're running while we're gone, absolutely, or, or shut them down. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm <clears throat> most likely going to be there, but there's that chance I might pull out it. You know, yeah, I got it. So, okay, I w I want to be there. I've been there. At, since beginning uh january was their very first one yeah was, i did that one zoom and then i went to everyone after that mm -hmm. so. you guys are right it's nice to be in that live environment talking to people seeing the people talk it's fun watching bitcoin ben talk in person um generally he's not on any kind of show so he can be completely uncensored <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, ben is amazing <laughs> yeah it, it's it's great, and um, a lot of um, a lot of other Bitcoin consultants uh, dot world uh, members will be there as well. So it's always good to come and see and meet us and talk to us. And, um, and so you know, when we do get an appointment and make an appointment, then you know you feel comfortable already knowing somebody. It's not like I'm not just that random guy on Reddit. You know, sorry. Yeah. All right. Anything exciting coming up in the new year, guys? We'll wrap it up with that. New year. Uh, Besides all the. What are you focused on this year for yourself? Uh, Elon Musk and Bitcoin. You want to go first? <laughs> so you talking about our uh, new year goals for ourselves? Um, kind of your or... goals, your business goals, and uh, your your coins, that sort of thing. You know what so you're what you're looking at for coins. So for this year, I'm focusing on educating myself on a lot of the new altcoins that are coming out. The uh, newer projects that are being left behind that may or may not have value in them uh, does take a lot of research. Um, so when I make my videos, I sometimes I spend two days before I can make that video on that coin because I want to make sure I present something that is going to give someone value you know i don't want to just throw a coin up there because an the article said hey this is a good coin you know i actually do some diving into it check out some 
uh, the founders of it, what it's about. You know, so that's one of my goals is to produce more videos and contents on uh, coins that nobody's seen or heard of. So kind of like, I guess you could call them the shit coins, I guess. But <laughs> um, everybody thought Doge was a crap coin, which we still do. But look what happened. It, it popped. So yeah. those, that's kind of what I'm looking at for the future. And then uh, helping as many people as I can. And uh, with our Haiti mission that we do, um, we launched a node for them. That's running. We're able to help out. Mm. Uh, a whole it's mission it. of kids in Haiti. And, in Haiti. And it's just been a blessing. I mean, that's why I really got into this. It really opened my heart just to be able to help people, period. And crypto's brought so much to me. I just want to bring it to everybody else. That's amazing. That's what this is all about. Like, a business should always be about helping the people. And if you yeah. help them, good things will come to you. And that's how it should be. And mm -hmm. that's Go, Brian Dickman. That's amazing to hear that. I love hearing that. And for me, yeah. 2022, yeah, I want to just continue educating people, making people are safe and secure with their cryptos. I want to, for my channel, I want to at least grow that. Hopefully, I reach at 1,000 subscribers this year. <laughs> it's slowly but surely, like making its way there. It's just consistency. Everyone's just got to be consistent with it. Mm -hmm. um, I think you'll get to two. I think you'll get over 1,000 subscribers for sure. Who's gonna get there first near you? Yeah. <laughs> <Or Cowboy>. <laughs> I think, <laughs> Cowboy. yeah, I've got I don't know how many subscribers I've got. Now. Should we have a little bet going of race who gets there first? <laughs> I, I think Richard will beat us both. I have less than hardly any, so that's not it very many. Really, it, you'd be surprised at how fast it can go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as long as I, I keep saying smart things, <laughs> we'll see how long I can do that. Yeah, use <laughs> people like. Keep in touch with other crypto enthusiasts, crypto influencers out there, and it just builds up on top of that, and it builds mm -hmm. your uh, reputation as well by being on these channels. You go, oh, these guys are talking to Bit uh, Bitcoin Cowboy. Like, hmm, maybe I want to give this guy a call for a consultation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, every every little bit helps out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. the, mm -hmm. Well, any one of us would be glad to help you um, get over your next hurdle, um, even if it's just confidence. You need somebody holding your hand. Uh, taking that next step, um, whatever you might need. Um, again, um, go ahead, uh, go visit bitcoinconsultants.world and uh, get to know the consultants there. We've got a new website that's kind of evolving here. So um, anyway, just, just kind of go check out the site. Check out yeah. the people there. Reach out to us. And we'd be glad to help you. Mm -hmm. So. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for being on the show, um, and um, thanks for letting me on your shows too. So, we, it, it's always fun when like-minded people can get together and just talk about stuff, crypto, you know. And, um, um, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, I'll get to see you in Texas. You, at, you listening at home? Hopefully, I'll get to see you at the next Bitcoin Ben event coming up next week. Um, there is a Crypto World event on um, uh, Thursday, I think. Yeah, on Thursday, there is a, a Crypto World where we'll actually be talking about franchise opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you're in town, it's, tickets are free. It's limited to 100 people. And, and last I knew, they had some, a few free tickets. So you just go sign up for the event, right? And you can come by. Otherwise, Bitcoin Branches US. Dot io is where you can get tickets to the uh, the event next week. Hope to see you there. All right, guys. Guys, well, happy New Year, and um, look forward to seeing you again soon. All right, guys. New Year. Happy New Year to you too. All right, happy New Year, guys. Thanks, Richard. Have a have a good day. Thank you.